Chicken Duck episode 139. Are you joining us today? Yes, sir. Oh, well, nice to join you. In. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Justin Piper's here. Hello, Justin. Hey, guys. Good Long time you, listener, friend, and uh, and uh, here. Uh, not you didn't bring the cake. No. We have carrot cake. What the f do we have carrot cake for? Uh, two weeks ago. I have Wednesday. already f ruined that. <laughs> Start over. I'm gonna try to not say f today. Okay. Yeah, Listener that, discretion is advised. That, no, we're trying. No, we're I really, can't make any promise. I don't care about you. I'm <laughs> trying really hard about. I'm an idiot. I have never been known for having a filter. <laughs> I usually I have been cutting cutting the out of our episodes. So, well, I won't give you any to cut out. All right, we'll see. I don't give a <laughs> zero. <laughs> give a. All right. One thirty nine. Coming, Penny. What time? Like one. He Tell just him. got off of work, so whatever time be he gets over here, here and sit over there for a while while we're Still recording. Him watch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can barely see. It looks like. All right. Is that who's cool or whose mug is that? The green thing. Okay. No, it's fine. I just wanted to make sure it didn't need to be in the shot. Right. It's a habit. I carry my own water everywhere I go. It's all right. You're putting that mic back on now anyway. In case Kenny comes, we can't have him sit over there. Welcome Find back, up. everybody. Saturday's the Chicken Duck, episode 139. That was a soft opening. <laughs> <laughs> Joining us this week, Justin Pfeiffer, longtime friend and listener. Finally got to, you get to sit here and yell at us, us and tell us what we do wrong. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I know you've been watching us from, like, from a distance, yeah, Creep, creepily <laughs> watching, as That's Johnny a, would put it, through the window. That's or why we had to cover these windows. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Could be high the green screen this whole time. <laughs> uh, everything—it's snowing outside. It's not that great out. So thanks for joining us and uh, braving the awesome. the elements. My pleasure. Man. Yeah. So. What's yeah. new? I'm sorry I didn't bring much. I, I, I saw uh, Luigi and Spanish pretty much ruined that for me. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, unless you open up a bakery or some sort of, you know, yeah. Yeah, they knocked me out of the park. Uh, a shout out to Justin. Uh, thank you again for last week, man. We You can see that we're still going strong. Yeah. The shells, we should probably move the shells from the bottom to the top because they're. Yeah, they're running sparse. Jimmy's uh, put a pretty big dent into the shells they're not for us to sit here and eat every week then you yell at me because i'm eating pretzels every week <laughs> well i didn't take any i took one of each except for the shells because they wouldn't, didn't fit into my bag last week so I, this isn't like from sweet street is it no okay well, you don't want them to go to waste no well they, <laughs> they have a way. shelf life of a year <laughs> yeah, the, the, shells, the, the shells aren't going to get to no, I January. No. There's three no. bags left. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll be lucky to see 2020. Even so the cat enjoyed a bag of the shells. Uh, he got, so Devin comes up to me today and says, oh, the cat is laying in the box downstairs <laughs> up against the pretzels and like pawing at them or whatever. <laughs> no, that's great. So that doesn't surprise me. I don't think he was eating them. Yeah. <laughs> it was a little needle tug. So you asked me about uh, the cake. Why are we having cake? We have it, carrot cake. It was my birthday on uh, Wednesday, November 20th. So you've been driving around with a carrot cake for a week and a half. Yep. I bought it on my birthday and I kept it cold in the car. <laughs> no. Barbara bought it yesterday and said take it to the podcast. So it has nothing to do with your birthday. <laughs> well, it sort could. of. Yeah. It's a late birthday cake. Did it say happy birthday in carrots? Yeah. But Do I you cut like it up carrot you cake? I love it's my favorite. Oh. Yeah. She should have went to Sweet Street then. Yeah. <laughs> we can talk about that in uh, January. When Jen's here? Yeah. Jen's coming here. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How'd you swing that? Uh, Facebook? Yeah. M probably me, but Casey. <laughs> yeah. Casey and <laughs> And then it was so funny. I text. Uh, Cause like we're trying to get like local business owners, different people and stuff on the show, you know. Yeah. So uh, I messaged Jen on uh, Instagram and asked her about being on the show because she works for Sweet Streets. I think she's like the marketing person for Sweet uh, Sweet like Streets. The assistant, like, I think she's higher up than the marketing. Person. Okay. Well, we'll find out when she's on. <laughs> but <laughs> so then I was going through on Instagram like Berks County. 
uh, businesses and stuff, just looking at different, and Hippies Meats was on there, right? Oh, so yeah. I, mess, I message Hippies Meats about being on the podcast. As in, like, Hippies Bologna? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I get a reply. You just want a buffet, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> you see where we're going with this, don't you? <laughs> Trying to keep us fed, Justin. <laughs> So then I message them on Instagram, and I get a reply back within like five minutes, and she goes, "Casey, this is Jen Keller." I yeah. run there. <laughs> She's Insta- doing their, man- their their social media. <laughs> She's like, "I'll try to hook some. I'll try to set something up with them." Get the rice crispy treats. Rice crispy treats are really good. For From food? sweet treats, sweet yeah, and they're they're separately packaged, so lemon bars, man. They'll last a little longer. Lemon bars, uh, lemon bars. Everything lemon. is pretty much. Oh, agreed. The lemon, lemon bars. Yeah. If you're counting calories, don't. <laughs> no, we're, we're not. <laughs> well, I mean, I, the past couple times I saw you was at Wawa. You're buying a salad. I'm like, who, what vegan is he dating? <laughs> no. Who got him to eat lettuce? No, I like I like uh, the lettuce. Wawa salad. I get a bunch of stuff on that salad. I don't just. It's not like just lettuce. It's like an Italian sandwich. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Without the bread. <laughs> yeah, it's a chicken salad salad. <sighs> so. <laughs> So you take, uh huh, take mushed up shredded chicken, mm-hmm. mayonnaise and celery, love it, onion and egg probably, Whoa. and then you just put it over lettuce. Yeah, lettuce, tomato, more onions, little hot peppers, banana peppers. This cake's delicious. I don't want to vomit it all over the place. I'd like to stop talking about it. You're not a chicken salad guy. I'm not a salad guy. Like not. I like. <laughs> Come on, that was a low blow. That was that was a call for. <laughs> you can't bring a cake here and then insult my weight. That's an uh, it's another thing. Like how rude is I that? Wasn't I stopped you. one there. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. I'm trying really hard to work on my behavior and my language for you, you people, you the listeners. No, cut that out. I can't say that. <laughs> my <think> God. <laughs> Someone is offended by this episode. <laughs> I, I thought it was going to be me, but I guess I can pretty much say anything I want be now. Being offensive. No, I thought I was going to be the one. That, yeah, yeah, causing it all. Yeah, right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, but I got to be honest. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, before we started, Justin, you asked us why there's a scale over there on the floor. Weight Watchers. Get right back to that too, right? Cake. Now we talk about the scale. Go ahead. Talk about eat a piece scale. of cake. Weigh yourself. Uh, when we had first started the podcast, we were going to do a weight loss challenge. <laughs> you brought cake. That thing's like two or three years old. Yeah, it, that is from the very, very early stages of Saturdays with Chicken Dog. And you notice how the tape is still sealed on that box. It's never been opened. I like it. Brand new scale. <laughs> Batteries are shot. <laughs> <laughs> they might still be good. They've never been. Uh, Never been worked. Never been calibrated. <laughs> well, happy belated birthday, Casey. Oh, uh, thank you very much. Oh, another thing I wanted to uh, talk about this week is last week after the uh, the microphones and camera got shut off, it was brought to our attention that when we were talking about Italian sandwiches with uh, our guest Mike Zellner, yeah, that we didn't talk about Luigi's sandwich. Although you took him to Luigi's, Luigi's after that show. I'm going to say it. Luigi's is the best Italian sandwich Money Laura. around. Money Laura. Yeah. It's, it's the Luigi the special. Luigi. The Luigi special. Now, I've been getting the Luigi special special, which has the... Shut up. <laughs> oh. Ruined it. You ruined it for everyone. Ruined. Aren't people supposed to know about that? He I don't know, He said man. it on the show. Really? Yeah. He talked about it on he the did, show. He did, but he didn't describe I don't, it. I don't, I'm not a listener. <laughs> <laughs> But what? So we were talking about sandwich shops near the prison where Mike works. That's why we didn't mention Luigi's shop. We didn't broaden. It's not the, in. We didn't broaden the scope. Right. It's not in that area. But immediately after the podcast was over, I took Mike to Luigi's. Drug him. And, and yeah, I forced him there. Yeah. And <laughs> he said uh, that that was the best Italian sandwich that he's had in over a year. In over a year. Which is an interesting... I want to know where he was just over a year ago. He then. said that he loved the sandwiches at... Uh, oh, TC, or, uh, TC's, Ozzy's. Joey Peeps. Joey Peeps. Yeah. Which, isn't that Kosha's? Wasn't that the Kosha's? Do you remember Kosha, Danny, and Pat? I do, Kosha? but I, I don't know if that was theirs. I thought it was. I can't believe I'm 
I can't believe I'm making that up. I'm almost certain. Yeah, you make a lot up. <laughs> Coaches, <laughs> if you're out there, call in. <laughs> <laughs> or something. I don't know. Get all of us. That'll be the next thing. Take the first caller. Hey, whatever. We've been working on that. We worked on it. I could probably make it happen again. It's just we. I pay for Skype. Yeah. Just in case Doug Danger calls in. That's right. We are did you, take or, calls. We knew or, how to do it at one or, time. Or Jan, we haven't talked to Jan in a while. Since we started the video, we haven't been able to figure out how to take calls. We talked to Bobby Blaze on Skype. We talked to Doug Danger. I'll set it back up for we you. We talked to everybody. We'll make it a lot more of people. We need Jan Luan, camera. the Polka King. We need other cameras. I know. We need people to sign up for our Patreon account. I can't keep uh, footing the bill. Just keep, just pay for it, man. <laughs> we just got to do it. I you have to be homegrown. <laughs> we, Start from. We have been homegrown. Dude, I've been paying for Skype every month. <laughs> it's every month I pay for it. What does that run you? Three dollars. <laughs> Two ninety nine. And then like, but it's like twenty five bucks then at the end of the year. Oh, they charge you one flat fee. Yeah, it's and like, three dollars a month. They're bastards, huh? For nothing, I don't think. I don't think. Well, we, it, we it could be something if we used it. Could be. I could get lots of people to call in. Jim Sharkey, it, Mike Buschetti. They're calling next week. <laughs> Where's this shirt? Where's this shirt? All right, so this is... Oh, no, no, no. Where's the shirt? You keep <laughs> telling me that... Yeah, where's it at? In the air somewhere, I uh, guess. It's coming from Chicago. Whatever. Yeah, what is Inner Circle? This is uh, Chris Jericho's new... Another uh, wrestling. Yeah. Great. AEW. The cake was delicious, so... It's from Giant. They make a good carrot cake. They do. I didn't get a carrot, but thanks. Prick. I didn't put a carrot on yours? I must have been on Justin's. I don't remember eating one. And mine. <laughs> <laughs> so what's been going on, Justin? What, what, what have you been doing since high school? Uh. <laughs> 20 years. What have you been doing 20 years. 20 years. <laughs> uh, besides work and got married, had kids, got divorced. That's a real blast. I wouldn't recommend it. How many kids do you have? Two kids. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How old? Five and six. Wow. Yeah. They're, uh, they're a trip. Uh, two boys. little boys. They are a trip. They will uh, They will take your house apart. <laughs> leave you in the ruins. My kid got a haircut yesterday just after the haircut in the house of the lady that cut his hair. Ran, tripped over my wife, and bashed his head into the corner of the wall. Split his head open. They had to take him. They thought he was going to need stitches. Yeah. No stitches. <laughs> it was that bad. Yeah. It's nasty. Yeah. I'll put it up here. <laughs> No. So we're gonna start doing that in post. That's what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna call that post. Okay. We're, I'm just gonna start. You're gonna put it all together and give it to me, and I'll put it up here. You know, it has to be out by Friday night. Mm -hmm. So you better get at working eight o'clock. Get working on it. Videos come out at Friday at eight, and audio is the now. Poor people that <laughs> yeah. watched it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I usually am the only one watching it on Friday night by two, myself. Two computers. <laughs> Yeah, to make it look I watch like, it. I'm at home. To make it look like two people are watching. I don't have much of a life. <laughs> I run around my house and cast it to all my TVs just so it feels like we're watching it. Oh, nice. <clears throat> so uh, last week we had Justin Spanathon, and uh, before we started, you said uh, that he does something with your fundraisers. You want to talk about that? What what uh, fundraisers are you doing? Uh a couple years ago, we, we started a, a hockey tournament for a friend that passed away from cancer, and um, he's he, he was a, a big uh, donator for it, so it's, it's really cool. Lots of baskets, lots of pretzels. Um, yeah. Nice. Are you still playing hockey? Uh, I, I play pickup right now. Um, I've been uh, refing more. On uh, ice? Yeah. Yep. I know the answer. I just what want to... pick up mean? What does that mean? Uh, just... just Bunch of guys go out, split up teams, play just to play. Hmm. No league. Uh, I don't have the time to, to play in a league right now with the kids, the schedule, everything else, and, and to dump money into it and not be there half the time. It's yeah. it kills you. But um, I couldn't imagine like playing a sport right now. <laughs> like 
as on, a hobby. On ice. <laughs> like it's on, a good hobby. With razor yeah, blades no, on my saying. feet. Oh, no. I'm, I'm not, not saying it's a bad hobby. It's I'm just, just saying I couldn't fathom. I can't, any, the last time I roller skated was probably 30 years ago, <laughs> and I probably broke something. Like a it, wrist uh, or an ankle or something. It took me to play in Montreal and, and Prague. and yeah. Really? Nice. Yeah, last year we played in Montreal. The year before we played in Heratic, right out, about an hour outside of Prague. Very so cool. That's awesome. Public was pretty cool. Some good beer. Beer is cheaper than water over there. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what? How did how did that happen? What team is that for? Um, one of the guys on our team was friends with a guy that uh, worked for Arrow International over in the Czech. Nice. He got married, stayed there, and uh, yeah, we decided to bring a bunch of teams together, and and uh, yeah, they. Uh, they killed us. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's like their life, right? That's what. They, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's well, not just a they have hobby for when they go out. They <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shit. Every guy in their team had a pro status, and and uh, yeah, here we are. We're we're stumbling on the ice, drunk, and <laughs> like, okay, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> you guys just pretty much went over there for a vacation. Yeah, just hang out. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And got to play hockey. Went ice skating. It's like going up to New York at Christmas. You do a couple laps. Yeah. yeah. Come back bleeding and <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I think the only time I've ever been on uh, ice is with you. Yeah, and uh, what? Yeah, like oh, please, that, please tell me the story. <laughs> I just, I didn't, I don't know how to ice skate, and I went with Justin to uh, what, what's that place up by uh, the Crabborn? Is that still there? Timberline? Yeah, that, that's not there anymore. It's not? No. Oh my god! It's just recently. Yeah, last <laughs> week. <laughs> What have you you've been right before they tore been, the, you guys have been hanging out ice skating behind my back? <laughs> <laughs> Does Barbara know about this? I've been we hold hands. <laughs> I, can, I can only I've imagine been, that's the only way. Well that now that works. the cat's out of the bag. <laughs> That'd be the next video. Or one of those like walkers with tennis balls on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> When Vu posts pictures of uh, him at the uh, fantasy, that's what his daughter always has. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> that would be the only way he'd get me anywhere. I'd still end up hurting myself. There's razor blades on my feet. No, this was when we were in high school, right? I mean, you, young. Yeah. You know? I think Tommy went to. And I was trying to learn how to ice skate. I'd never ice skated before. And I think I haven't since. It didn't go well, apparently. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's been a very successful trip by the sounds of it. No, not at all. Because I don't remember us ever ice skating <laughs> in high school <laughs> or after high school. <laughs> Is that a... We have to do that for the podcast. <laughs> A remote recording. I have GoPro. Or we have Kyle's GoPro that we could use. <laughs> I won't need any GoPro. <laughs> You'll need a stationary camera about 30 feet away. You'll catch everything you need to catch. Ambulance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, shit. Come what? on, we're trying with the language. It's for the kids. Shit's not a real bad word. The episode that I come on, you decide to filter? No. We're We've been filtering. slowly I'm filtering. I'm trying to not be an asshole. I, it's, it's hard to get. I mean, you know, we can't get a ton of... A lot of people don't want to hear vulgar language. Right. I don't Stern wanna... took off. There's no reason Casey and Jimmy can. I don't think <laughs> we're trying to be stern. I mean, no. Not really. I guess if any porn stars want to come on. <laughs> we could have had the... Uh, not porn star, but the uh, model uh, Bill was going to bring with, remember? Yeah, I do remember that, vaguely. But I didn't think you would feel comfortable with it, so. She was just a model. A Not nude a, model. A, a model. I don't think she had to be nude. Well, that's what she was going to do, sit here, nude. Well, we did, what were we going to do? <laughs> Just stare, just stare at her. <laughs> She's just stationary, just like <laughs> while Bill's taking pictures. <laughs> Casey's painting her. I mean, that's cool to do on his own time, but I'm kidding. She wasn't gonna sit here nude. He was gonna bring her to be on the podcast, so she wouldn't be a nude model then. But she could um, talk about what she does, right? Which is model nude. Mm, sometimes <laughs> lack of clothes. I mean. Uh, I'm not, I'm not a nude garage door salesman, <laughs> but I can be. <laughs> it's 
that's not a thing, though. <laughs> not to criticize. It but could how, be. How hard can it be to, to model nude? Probably not. I don't know. All you got to do is take your clothes off. Yeah. I can technically do it. It's just a lot. <laughs> just nobody looks. People look. Cat knocked a couple shades loose. <laughs> Sometimes you can see in through the the top of the curtains. Who knows? How can the cat see in through the top of the curtains? Huh? Not the cat. The neighbors. <laughs> the neighbors. <laughs> yeah. I'm not worried about the cat seeing me. <laughs> the cat's seeing all this. I don't think this. so. I really don't think your neighbors are. I. Oh, you were you. You're getting a dog. Yes. Oh, what kind of dog? Wire-haired pointing griffin. I was hoping something simpler than that. That seems <laughs> seems to be. Although I think it's a very unique. What's a pointing griffin, dude? Like I know the wire hair part. I yeah. understand that. Those words. Yeah. When you put them together. It's a uh... wired hair pointing griffin. Oh, my dad used to sort of have a dog like that. His name was Jake. <laughs> we'll put it up here then. Is that was that what you're just gonna yeah. look like? Yeah. Lucy. Oh, you already have a name for it? Yeah. Yeah, they're they're already training her with their name, so nice. Cool. What uh what does something like that run you? Is it like a purebred It is, thing? it is. It comes but with it, papers, I'm sure it's like yes. a couple grand. No. Oh good. No, no. I was just gonna like punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I tried to get my dad a free Rottweiler the other week. Dude. Well, when we left uh, when I left Luigi's with Mike there was a Rottweiler like running around on the streets there, and I called my dad. And I was like, "Hey, there's a." You gotta wrestle it down. <laughs> That's a Rottweiler running around down on the street. Bring down some there. steak down from your house. <laughs> and he texted me back and said he couldn't find it. I have kids. I can't afford anything expensive. I, I know. That's kind of what I was getting at. I didn't know if it was one of those things like, "Hey, I'm, I'm going to buy." Four kids. I didn't know what to $2, do. Two thousand dollar dog, so that no, be the ultimate f you. Oh. Shut up. It'd be like uh, John's dogs. We gotta have jo get John back on here. Has he ever told the bird story about his dad? Gary, oh, right? oh, <laughs> oh man, no, I don't know that he has told that story on here. That's a wonderful story. He 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 should be able to call in. We'll have him call in next week. All right, that way he doesn't. He he's he's off of work. I mean, he should as be long able to as he can make it down call. the steps. I, I, no, we can get him. We're here. not getting him here. I'll pick him up. No. It's bad enough that you shit in my house every week. I can't. <laughs> he does, well, we're not going to get into that, but <laughs> he doesn't need your bathroom. Stop. <laughs> you can't say we're not going to get into it and then immediately get into it. Uh, well, all of this has to be cut out now. So, I know how to start, start it with things. the first. So it's just going to look like we're talking about <laughs> <laughs> oh, Look, just write this this episode off. No, we we'll start good. fresh next year. No, <laughs> next year. <laughs> oh man, so tell us some stories, Justin. What else is new, man? I haven't seen you in a long time. I know. Do you talk to Toddy? Um, I see him every once in a while, like a wedding or a picnic. Do you see that he's in Colombia right now? Yeah. Or yeah, is he I, home from Colombia? Like, I don't know. But he looked. Like I, he I, I saw he was traveling there. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, an interesting trip. Interesting time to go to Colombia. Yeah, yeah. I think I just uh, I was wondering. I saw a couple of pictures and I was thinking, can we get into the like? You have several nicknames okay. that I know about. There's Pookie. <laughs> <laughs> Probably don't want to get into a couple of them. Where did Pookie come from? We'll start with that. That was a bad bad night of tequila. Yeah. Okay. Jose Cor uh yeah, Jose Cortez, the plastic bottle version. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it stemmed from that one. Uh, I'd say more, but I, I don't remember much of it. Probably so. better that way. Yeah. And there's always one that uh, I always knew everybody always called you the creeper. Yeah. Yeah. Johnny gave me that because I would Johnny uh, Madera. Well, Johnny and and Wolfie, yeah. I would I would just show up and, and disappear on my own. It still happens to this day. I all like I'll just be walking he mentioned about at Wawa. That he's, I'm just walking in Wawa and I just hear, Hello, Casey <laughs> in the corner of my ear. 
So You'll good. walk in your kitchen one day. I'm sitting there eating. <laughs> You'll walk out, and I'll be gone. <laughs> it's very good. You're fucking great. <laughs> I just remember the front door would be open and you'd just be standing in the screen door. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, creep? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Those were the days. Mm-hmm. I was just thinking, remember remember Salim? Remember the dude that... The dude from at Albright who also had, like, a Civic? And... I... Sp- Bit in his face. (laughs) 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 Shit! Uh, What happened? This is really uh, this episode really ran off the (laughs) went off the rails. And it wasn't even Uh, me. He was shaking a chick. Mm. Uh, Was about a foot from him, and he then he ended up getting kicked out. Told him to. He wanted me to hit him, so I just spat on him. (laughs) It's People sad. do not like when you spit on them. Oh, he was pissed. Did he I don't get... know. Jimmy Bria, he he let me throw darts into his chest. That moment. happened. What? Yeah. And yeah. I, I got him really, really good. I mean, it, it was in bone. That happened. Yeah, that was at Albright also. <laughs> remember, I remember standing behind him with the phone book covering his face. Jimmy Bria. Yeah. Like, you won't Covering his face. Covered with the phone book. I was so stand- you, so, so I was standing behind him. It was in the hallway. I had, like a, I had an apartment. If you want to call it, I know that. all about it. Well, the people, the fans don't. Okay, give an apartment. So bring up the. Here's the layout. I remember kicking the door in there one time <laughs> to make sure I was alive, or what? It's probably kicking the door in. Yeah, like the door was kind of weird. The front door, no, right? Yeah, pop it. Yeah, pop. Give it a good pop because it was a key card reader. That was where shit maglock on shitty it. kitty like. Lived, Shitty right? Kitty definitely lived there. Yeah, yeah. yeah I remember. Yeah, I don't remember why I busted you in there. Shitty but Kitty? No, Lepko's cat. Uh. Uh-uh. So tell me about Shitty Kitty Olympics. The Shitty Olympics. So tell me about Bria getting uh, stabbed in the chest with the door. How no, far, we were drunk. And how far away Robo were Robo took one to his ass cheek first. Yep. yep. So Bria threw one and it went into Matt's ass, like onto his ass cheek, and we laughed. No, wait. It was encouraged for me to throw darts at people. <laughs> no, wait. Have... Robo took the one to his chest. Did you have pinpoint accuracy or what? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> there were no practice throws. Just Who took the dart to the pet? Was that Matt or Jimmy? No, that was Jimmy. Are you sure? Yeah, I got bone with that one. I think Jimmy threw it at Matt. I thought you threw it and it hit Jimmy's ass. No, no, I did not do the... Uh... I'm trying to remember... It was a shade. It was a, a hazy time at the old <laughs> Albright apartment. That was up across from the post office, correct? correct? Yeah. The cliffs. No, the cliffs are in Kutztown. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. The woods. The woods. Yeah. I remember that place. I used to get very drunk. We all did. And disappear and come home with like a shoe. Missing. <laughs> Lost the boot. Was that when you fell asleep in the parking lot of Johnny and Hans? Around that? Around that time. Or that was a couple of years later, I think. <laughs> it was a long span. Remember when you locked your keys out of your apartment and I had to scale the wall on the outside to get into the window? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah. Good thing I sobered up. Very good. Clean up. <laughs> yeah, it's actually funny you brought up Johnny and Hunts. I, I went over there uh, Wednesday for the first time in a long time. I haven't I haven't been in there much. I've been in like once maybe in the last year. I was in there. Changed but, a little bit. Yeah. It, it did? Well, just what time did uh, night did you go in there? Were you in there like to go hang out at night or? I went in for a, for a special and a dog and a beer right after work. Oh, I was okay. there for like a half hour. I'm like, good, <laughs> good, I'll go. Were you the only one there? No, no, no. I went there after a podcast one one week to go get a special, a couple specials and a couple oh, dogs. For Nana. And I had to ask. It had been four years, I think, since I'd been in there because we got kicked out of there. The night of Jimmy's bachelor party, 
and I thought that I would still be banned. And Jimmy's like, the guy that kicked you out hasn't even left his house in like four years. <laughs> no, it's not that he hasn't left his house. He certainly hasn't worked there in four years. But no, I don't think he's left his house lately. He got fired there for kicking me out. No. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, actually, uh, Jimmy Biondo and, and Nick Walker were there when I was there. Oh, yeah? Wow. Yeah, and then a couple of uh, odd ones uh, along the wall. and yeah. Odd ones? Yeah. Special characters. That was usually the case at Johnny and Hans. Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> what else is going on? How was your week, buddy? What did you do? Nothing. Not a thing. No. Um, bought a bunch of stuff for Carter for Christmas. Just a bunch of toys. That's it. That's really all I've been doing. Not really working. Just buying stuff on Amazon. You know. Amazon's dangerous. It is so dangerous. It's great. It's so great. So good. Boop, boop. What's really dangerous is about uh, I travel for work. And oh, you get free shit. All my Hilton points mm -hmm. when I stay at Hilton, which are Hampton properties, they're now partnered with Amazon. So all of my Hilton points I can use on Amazon. So oh, like. God. The last, like, three years that I've been working, most of the things that I've been ordering on Amazon has just been paid for with Hilton points. Thanks for the TV. <laughs> <laughs> so, technically, you're not paying for it, then. No, not at all. Not even... Not even a little not bit. Not technically. <laughs> well, the opposite of people, I don't know. Well, I mean, you're putting the time in, so... What time? I am, He's and his anyway. time is valuable. Double dip it. Not really. Yeah, they're my points. Double dip. <laughs> <laughs> they're my You're points. Double dipping. <laughs> oh my! So tell us some more stories, Justin. You're a good storyteller, man. Yeah. Well, not much. I mean, you know, it's uh, home life and kids, and and uh, trying to keep it simple. Staying out of trouble? Yeah. Stay off the radar. Stay at home. You know, don't go. Don't go anywhere, really. Go down to the shore over the summer. Parents are uh, down in Cape May most of the time. Are they living down there now? Uh, part of the time. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they're both retired, so. They, uh, nice. They come home to cut the grass and go back down. <laughs> they still have this place over here? Yep. Yeah, I, I keep telling them you're spending more on gas than you would paying someone to cut yeah. your <laughs> Do what my parents did and get the hell out of here. Yeah, where'd they go? Florida, Tallahassee. Oh, nice. Yeah. So. Left well, their little baby. One boy. by one, the rest of my family will follow <laughs> them now. <laughs> uh, yeah. We're not ever going to Florida. Not me either. Ever. So I'm never even go. I'm never traveling to Florida. I'm never just going to keep driving right by. I'd probably go on there in the spring. <laughs> what are your stories? You travel all over. What are my stories? Let's see. This past week I was in uh, Oregonia. Oregon, Idaho, and Idaho. They had three jobs there. I started over th uh, February. is going to be three years. I've been to 28 states. Wow. Yeah. Idaho is my favorite. So it was nice to go there. Although I was in like middle of nowhere places this time. It's kind of. Do you have like a cork board at home with a map? Uh, no. No, but I have, uh, I do buy a patch for every state that <laughs> I've been. <laughs> We've had discussions of our, my patch collecting on here. Why? Have a, there's a specific lady. Why don't you bring your patch board in here? I could. Yeah. Patch board? No, 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 no. You need a brownies vest. What? No. I'm give you a brownies vest and show Shaped your like the United on. States. Well, I have. A, I could actually. I would actually have one badge that belonged on that brownie badge. Remember, I found that patch. Yeah, you did. That it was like a uh, swimming, like a. Where is it? <laughs> children's swimming. It's probably patch. on the middle. In the middle of your patch board. And you I don't have. It. Of course, I, he f kept it. So there's some little kid out there that went <laughs> back for their me patch. Right now? And the kid's like, who would steal a patch? <laughs> no, and there's Casey. It was on the ground. <laughs> it was in the parking lot. So Devin found a wallet the other day. Full wallet. No, no. I think there was a $2 bill in it. Mm -hmm. Credit cards, ID, everything. She found the guy on Facebook, texted him, said, I found you're from out of state. Well, no sure. response back. 
Oh, Wallet's, no response back. Wallet's still sitting up there. What about, is his, is his address, driver's license in there? Mm-hmm. Just mail it back to him. Drop it in a mailbox. I'll probably mail it. The whole wallet? Yeah. No, just put it in a little small little box and mail it back to him. And he'll be very happy. What if he's a Give mur- it to Casey. Casey what can drop it What if he's a murderer off. and he traces it back to me and kills me? Put it on. You don't have to put a return address on it. Put it on Just Craigslist. take it to the mailbox. <laughs> Good. I was hoping you'd say that it's on Craigslist. Uh, there would have, there would be, there would have been no way for me to find whoever owned that patch that I found to give it back to them. Now you have the guy's address, whose wallet it is. You could look it up in the patch database. <laughs> How many people have won this patch across <laughs> the states? I've seen it on NCIS at least once. There's a patch database out there. The chick, the goth chick with the ponytails. Oh, yeah. Peggy Sue. Yeah. No, Abby, I think it is. Yeah. yeah. She's always in the patch database. She's a what? She's always in the patch database. She has a patch database. The NCIS does. I don't th- I don't believe you. They get patches. Out. Not for a one second. Sure. There's no pin database, but there's definitely a patch database. No. So anyway, I found this lady on Amazon that makes patches. They're little small patches that are the states. So every time I travel to a state, I go on Amazon and get that patch. I have about 28 of them. So you're keeping her in business? Pretty much, yeah. That's she's probably... having, she's, she probably has a podcast and she's like, <laughs> I got this weird dude in Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah, where he's on 28 patches. <laughs> uh, is that Kenny? I hope so. Well, we're getting murdered in a couple seconds. Uh, Somebody can record a podcast about us. My name's getting not murdered. <laughs> I don't think so. Is this on? Maybe can you hear him? May, oh, yeah, it may, might have been... Uh, Devin's sister, huh? Picking up the phone. Why? The bedrooms. Are... The old bedrooms of disaster. Oh, there's your problem right now. No. <laughs> it's the power on it. Yeah. Are you here? How about how about you plug it in? Oh, wow, that's much better. When I went to see Chevy Chase, when he came out, he had like a a cordless microphone. And uh, it was coming out of his ear. And the guy next to it, like his interviewer, was like, here, let me put that into your ear, push that into your ear. And Chevy just sat there like this. And the guy came over and pushed it into his ear and like put it around his face, you know. And then Chevy started going like this. (laughs) Without. Yeah. (laughs) What's up, buddy? Hi, Ken. You want you can come on over, over here, here, dude. Yeah, yeah, the cat will probably eat you. I didn't even know you had a cat. Um, he didn't he come with you? He runs away all the time. Casey's cat. This is Justin. Justin Kenny. Kenny's the uh, local Gary expert. Yeah, yeah Gary's. He's yeah. uh dead Gary. So we dead started Gary. recording another podcast called Berks County Unsolved. Oh yeah. With uh, about unsolved murders, we did Gary one. Gary Redner. Yeah, Gary Redner was the first one that we did, and uh, Gary Miller's is coming. Yeah. And then uh, we're gonna have to kill a Gary. <laughs> sure there's another Gary. We're out of Gary's. Yes. Well, I couldn't find any. I couldn't either. There's sure. over a hundred and one, hundred and twenty other murders. So, just be Burke's Gary Sun Salt. Two episodes. Yeah. <laughs> season, run. season one. I'll be right back. Season two will be. Where are you going? I gotta go, man. So how's work, bud? Yeah, I'm gonna great. be late because of the weather. <laughs> Is it still snowing out? No, it's good now. No. Yeah. All right. Is this the pretzel episode? No, that was uh, last week, yeah. Oh, okay. They're just advertising. Yeah, we have to... uh, Our podcast is now brought to you by Unique Pretzels. If you go to uniquepretzels.com and use the code PRESENT, you'll get 20% off, I think. I'm going to try to get Justin to to, uh, make a code, chicken duck code, that we can use so he knows how many of our listeners are coming over and buying pretzels. (laughs) (laughs) 
Yeah. Now you just need Clover Farms to do ICT. <laughs> He'll notice that I keep buying the pretzels with the chicken nut coat, <laughs> so we generate money. <laughs> or Jimmy buying them and, and uh, shipping them up. How did that even come out? Uh, we graduated with him. Oh, okay. Yeah, his uh, grandfather started the company, and uh, he took it him and his brother, and I guess his dad took it over. Mm -hmm. Been running it for like 10 years. Yeah. Yeah, he was very generous with the... Uh, pretzels was not expecting that he kept coming back he kept coming in and coming back coming back i'm like what the fuck is going on here Fucking store. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> i have a store display of unique in my basement i just said i'm gonna try to get justin uh spana to set up a, an online code so that when people go to unique pretzels and buy pretzels on, on online that they can use a code like chicken duck so that he knows how many people how many of our listeners are uh, going many, over to the site and how many listeners do you have maybe like 200 a week mm -hmm. it's it's hard to it's hard to see now because we have split. because casey's got three computers that he signs on <laughs> from <him. laughs> no because because now we're on youtube so that's like completely separate from the audio feed yeah so it's fortunately nobody really watches us no, we actually have more viewers on YouTube. Four. There no. were four. Yeah, at the start. And it's already, I put it on yesterday. And there's already been at least 25 views on YouTube and like 24 listens on the other thing, SoundCloud and whatever else. So, so half of And that was in you, one though. day. I watch it for fing one minute when it starts just to make okay. sure everything sounds okay and then i switch just back sure to I'm lined up. professional wrestling probably <laughs> you really watch that much wrestling i've been into it a lot lately yeah. wow. new japan <laughs> i watch stardom pro i guess it's stardom no different World. than watching like oak creek that show is the worst not if you start at the end. Yeah, if you start at the end, they'll Work. recap everything that they've Just done in the back. last eight seasons in like, the first 15 minutes of the show. Work your way back. It's like they're putting stuff in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> they're, 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 That's exactly what they they're doing. They fill a hole by the end. Of the, <laughs> you watch it in reverse. That show is so bad. You ever see that show? No. Nope. The Curse of Oak oh, Island. It's so you great. Man. Yeah. They find a sword. A wooden sword. I think that's it. That's the extent. Like, the first thing that they found on the show were these coins. Like, I forget what they were. If you go on eBay, you can find those coins for sale for, like, five cents. They took a handful of them and just them chucked out of, them in the out of a plane. swamp. <laughs> go find them, boys. Some asshole with a helicopter. <laughs> Jingled them out of the helicopter. Well, that's like people at the beach with a metal detector. So oh, they, oh, we have one around here. They Jimmy find out. one <laughs> coin and oh, we hit the mother load. No, wait. Hold on, though. We went to. Oh, my God. Dev listen. Listen. How powerful can that be? It's it's junk. <laughs> it was like, I think, $30. <laughs> Devin, <laughs> Devin, oh, insist Devin insisted that she get one just so that she can play around with it. So I said, okay. There's Becca. I hope. I hope so too. Yeah. You didn't find anything. Have, has that ever been outside? Did you ever I even... didn't even find the metal chair in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, I... Did you ever even take it outside? Oh, yeah. We, the first night, the only time that we ever <laughs> used it, the first two hours that we had at home. Uh, and it didn't really do anything. And that's kind of, we had a laugh, and that was it. But it was a hell of a lot cheaper than spending $150 and having that experience. Well, yeah, but if the more money you spend, the better the product There still is wouldn't be happen. anything in my backyard of any value. How do you know? Because the plane landed <laughs> in Burn Township, Casey. <laughs> no, it didn't. Okay. John Kleckner told um, me. <laughs> um, I found these a million Earhart coins in my backyard. <laughs> I thought Gary Redner told you. Well, I never met Gary Runner. Better be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Turn People will tie up some loose ends. <laughs> find out you're talking <laughs> to Gary Runner. Whatever happened, I uh, was thinking the other day, whatever happened with our communication with our buddy John McAfee? Uh, it stopped. <laughs> oh, I know that. <laughs> I mean, nothing. Do you know who John McAfee is? No. McAfee antivirus, correct? Yeah. 
He is kind of off the deep end. Whoa, that's why he's not talking to us. Comments like that, probably. <laughs> Wait, you were talking to him? I messaged him on uh, Twitter one time. Twice. <laughs> and I said, uh, would you want to be on our... This is like when we first started the podcast. Yeah. I said, would you want to uh, be on our podcast sometime? And he replied back, yes. And then never heard from him I think him it was again. just after the whole thing in Belize. I was going to say, wasn't he starting a rebellion down yeah, there? Yeah. Well, starting... Coup. You know, possibly killing his neighbor over a dog. Two dogs. Oh, that's what it was, yeah. Something. Yeah. So... And then I watched that video with Hunter shooting at the at the, <laughs> the neighbor again. That was on my YouTube thing the other day. What a fantastic yeah. video! Where is John McAfee now? I'll tweet him again. Find out. I tweeted uh, Donald Trump the other day. I posted uh, on Facebook last week. Who are some guests that you'd like to see on the show in uh, 2020? Mm -hmm. And our uh, longtime listener and friend Jim Sharkey. Said Donald Trump, so I threw out a tweet. We got no An reply. Unanswered tweet, <laughs> which is surprising, seeing as though he does nothing but tweet all day. Even if he would block us, that would be cool. But then they'll show up here and want to have a chat. <laughs> yeah, well, it'll be a good episode of the podcast. The meanest, meanest <laughs> social media people are the same people that do Donald Trump did and Mina Savari are the same person. It's public knowledge. <laughs> Oh, no, not the same. Not, they're not the same people. <laughs> they're not the same people, but Jen Keller handles their social media <laughs> accounts. Everybody knows that. She's oh my God. ever reaching. Yeah. Yes, she is. What else do you have for us? There was, I had so much, but I don't remember any of it. I got to start writing it down, I guess. That would help. I just wanted to know about your hockey plan. That's what I had written down. My hockey plan? Yeah. Playing hockey? No. Justin plays hockey. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, why'd you say me then? I was looking at Justin when I said it. But Everyone I asked felt you. Like you were talking to Jimmy. Because <laughs> he was. We, were, we had a whole conversation. And I said, me playing hockey. He said, yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't. Rewind it. What did you do upstairs? <laughs> <laughs> Just taping up a stick. What's in that carrot cake, man? <laughs> real carrot. There are real carrots. No, they're raisins, actually. They put carrots in carrot cake, though. Shavings. Sometimes. All the time. I don't know that joke. Or it wouldn't be called a carrot cake. The carrot just comes from the carrot on top. <laughs> the I sink carrot. Which you didn't get. There, I know. So I, that's what I'm saying. I didn't have carrot cake. I just had cake. There was no carrots in there. There was raisins. Okay. We'll look at the uh, recipe then after <laughs> the podcast. Kenny's the expert. Kenny, grab us to the top of the. <laughs> oh. It's all the way over there. Uh -oh. There's carrots in it. I can all see them the from here. All the way over there. <laughs> oh, my God. That's unreachable. <laughs> oh. Well, I can look at it wantingly. Ryan said he did something to his eye. He can't keep it open. Feels like a scratch or something. Is that how he just realized that it's time to record a podcast? And he let you know at 106 instead of 12? Yep. Thanks. Pretty so he, much. Ask him so you won't be here because we're waiting for you <laughs> yeah. to start. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, not many stories, man. Justin. Sorry. You're full of f***ing stories. I know you are. None man, of them that I, I got to bust out the hard language. I don't, really, I don't really know that I want Justin rep <laughs> repeating any stories that I'm involved in for either of our safety. You know, it, it, the, the I next like time job. I come on, I'll, I'll get drunk at 7 a.m. and I'll give you stories. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, how was? didn't you go to the game last night? No. The I hockey didn't. game? You didn't go? No. I, I went to uh, the Ugly Oyster for Prime Rib. Oh. That's what I did on my birthday. Well, I didn't go to the Ugly Oyster, but I went to uh, Texas Roadhouse in Idaho. Well, thanks for the call. And would you have come to Idaho? I'm your friend, aren't I? <laughs> I had a 22-ounce Prime Rib. How much was that? Uh, 22 ounces. <laughs> I got that. In pounds. <laughs> Neanderthal. Just under. Just over. <laughs> Just over. <laughs> uh, that, mashed potatoes, corn, and a big piece of cheesecake. <clears throat> by myself on my birthday. Why Texas Roadhouse? Exactly. I don't know. 
This was the closest to the Home Depot. And I had to go back to the Home Depot. Closest to the Home Depot. I had to go back That's to the Home Depot. That's how I figure on my yeah. meals. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, honey. How close is that to the Home Depot? <laughs> oh, it's right there. <laughs> but you'll travel 14 hours for a pot dispensary. <laughs> I, had, I didn't have much to do that day. <laughs> But this you have traveled 14 hours to a pot to start. Uh, 12. Uh, yeah. 12. Five and five. Yeah. Six and six. That's right. <laughs> I had nothing to do that day. Casey, there's the days day where I have nothing to do. You'd need to hold a gun to my head to send me on a fucking 12 hour drive. For Mike Tyson weed? Mike Tyson himself could sell me that weed, <laughs> and I wouldn't drive 12 fucking hours. That's I would have drove. That's the difference. 15 yeah. hours for that. I'm sure you would have. <laughs> Uh, but on my birthday, I had to go back because now it gets dark earlier. So I have to go back at night to do the infrared scan. Oh, that's good. So I didn't have much time in between. So I couldn't go find a good local Idaho restaurant to have a steak. Oh, an Idahoan steak. <laughs> <laughs> Idahoan. Own. Idahoan. Own. I don't know. Wouldn't you go there more for the mashed potatoes? They were good mashed potatoes there mm -hmm. at Texas Roadhouse. Do you think they came from Idaho? You're in Idaho. Why would you be at a... Aren't there places like that look like Not shit? Not in Nampa, Idaho, no. I could Google Nampa, Idaho right now and, and say... People eat. Yeah. At Texas Roadhouse, it was packed. And, te and McDonald's. <laughs> the two restaurants they have in the entire town. Oh, it's the Nampa Texas Roadhouse. Yes. Well, that's you didn't say that. There's not much else in Nampa. I'll get. Did you, did you get the boiled milk steak? No. <laughs> <laughs> I got a prime rib. <laughs> Happy birthday! Did they sing to you? No, no, because I was gonna have them sing to me, but then when when I was sitting there, a little girl walked in with her parents and. It was her birthday as well, so I wanted her to have the spotlight, not not me. <laughs> if you think I would have told them that it was my birthday so that they would... I wish you would have told me that you were there so that I could have called them. And Hey, I'm at the Nampa, <laughs> Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> the Nampa, Idaho, Texas Roadhouse. And it's my birthday. Uh... Yeah, you didn't even... Text me on my birthday. I called you <laughs> at like six o'clock in the morning. I know. Whatever. And I brought you cake. A week old. A week and a half now. They got anything else for us? No. Justin? I'm good. Thank you. Kenny Riggle? Fresh out. How was work today? Fresh it was out. good. Yeah? It's good. Another day. Another day, another dollar? Your dad was at the house bright and early this morning. What was he doing? Uh, trying to fix the pumps on the, on the ponds. They're not working. Of course, oh, right okay. before we go away for Thanksgiving. Have they ever worked? Like they're never working. I know. It sucks. Don't the fish just naturally filter the water? No, they die. <laughs> <laughs> I think you had yeah, to deal with that, that when we were in Colorado. It's like Chechnya. There's <laughs> koi fish everywhere. <laughs> Okay. We dug a mask grave <laughs> down here. That'll do, folks. <laughs> oh, it's like... That explains the cat. Yeah, the three cats. No, well, they were might have been pregnant. I was standing on the back porch the other day smoking a joint very quietly, and this cat... This <laughs> As opposed to when you are <laughs> out there banging. Oh, banging. I'm usually out there. Bang, bang. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm usually... Smoking this joint, everybody! <laughs> I'm usually yelling and singing. <laughs> and this gray and white cat walked past me. And he had no idea what, that I was there. And I scared the shit out of him. Literally. Yeah. So you had to clean the shit up then, too. Yep. He just he just walked down and hopped on the cat train. Yep. Came back. Well, that's where they're coming from. To the diner. Yeah, I believe that's where... Car I think that's where... Uh, you know about the cat train, right? No. Episode 54, I think. <laughs> That's like 110. <laughs> it's the cat, the train goes by the diner and the market. People at the market feed the cats. Oh, yeah, there's a really creepy lady there. There's a uh, 
cat house on the diner side, if you've ever noticed, that the diner people have set up. That goes between homeless people and cat people uh-huh. running it. Um, wow. This is real. So I'm pretty sure my cat goes to the diner. <laughs> For breakfast. Probably. Meets up with his cat friends, hops on the cat train, and drives around the county. Goes over to West Lawn. West Lawn <laughs> and gets out and has, you know, Because runs. right by my house in West Lawn. Well, you live in West Lawn. You know where the Schwang's Garden is? Yeah. And uh, Ranch House, yeah. where Pizza Hut used to be. Like in between, there shouldn't be any cats there. In, be- in between Ranch House and Zhuang, well, they get like on a, the train. An empty building there, and behind that empty building, it's, it's cat, the same it's thing. Cat it's train the, station. The, yeah, it's <laughs> cat train station. Oh my god! Just a cat station. No, see so they. they <laughs> They hop the train. That's how they get from here <laughs> to there. Jump it on the oh, train. yeah. Everybody. There's a video of it. Everybody's seen it. <laughs> Tickets, please. <laughs> Colors. Follow my link. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'll do, folks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, thanks for joining us. Thank you. You're welcome to come back. Just don't don't make it regular. (laughs) That's when it gets weird. (laughs) We'll uncover a window for you now. (laughs) Peek in again. Keep an eye on you up there. Uh, Anything else, buddy? Well, stay tuned. Uh, Well, it'll probably come out before this. Berks County Unsolved, our other podcast. Uh, Patreon.com slash chicken duck. Chicken duck pod.com. That is all. That is all. It has been emotional. Goodbye.